What's going on people, it's Majin Zaku, and today I'm showing off the RX-78 NT-1. The NT-1, otherwise known as Alex, and this is the version 2.0 in master grade, and it's a beautiful thing. Very excited to, to build this one, I'm sure anybody who builds master grades exclusively like I do or at least has a good collection of master grades will be excited for this. This is if I recall mostly a new kit so we're going to take a look at it quick look and runners first This is runner N in kind of a metallic silver. Pretty good looking. Let's see, this says 2019 on it and version 2.0, NT1 version 2.0, so new runner. Another new runner, this is B and Another D, so double D's. Here we have another new runner, and this is a bright blue, and they call it B1. This is a new runner that is J1 and it's in a kind of grayish blue. We have a yellow runner. It's kind of a mustard yellow. It's not as bright as some of the other yellows you see in Gundam kits. Uh, this is a new runner as well. This one has the, the broken V-fin and the regular V-fin. So parts 12 and 13 on H1. You can choose which one you want to put on there. And we have our first frame, outer frame, for the outer armor. And it is a new runner as well. And this is in kind of a, I don't know, an aluminum, flat and aluminum type color. But plastic, not metal. H2 in this mustardish yellow. It's a new runner. Another new runner. More frame, outer frame parts for the armor. Sorry, that was uh, M2 and H2. This is kind of purple. This is weapons and hands. And this is F brand new runner and this is more outer frame for the armor this is runner L also a new runner runner E is a nice black kind of a satin black and this bluish gray teal kind of color which is runner K looks like you have some more weapon parts on there bright blue runner B2 new as well this is runner J2 in the dark kind of grayish blue J2 is new as well. So, so far, all new runners. No exception here. This is runner A in clear green, white, red, and that grayish blue. Looks like you've got some figures here. Three figures. Big shield. More purple. This is G, runner G, 
version 2.0. And this is runner G. So two G's, double G's. 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 Runner I is this dark blue one. You have polycap. Very few polycaps, actually. Huh. And this is C in white. More weapon parts. Looks like maybe backpack. Some leg parts. And that's it for the runners. I'll show you what's inside this yellow plastic bag. We got a metallic sticker for the eyes and the lens. We've got stickers. These are all stickers, not water slides. And they are marked version 2.0. When I build this, I'm going to, at first, just snap build it, and then I'll finish it, paint it, etc. But I'm going to be looking for water decals to replace these stickers, probably, most likely. And I can find most of these on other decal sheets that I have. They look pretty common for the most part, but these red ones and the Alex, obviously, that I can either print those on decal paper or try to find a, a sheet when somebody releases that. I haven't seen anybody release that yet, but I'm sure it's coming. Also in that yellow bag were two trash bag parts. For the elbows, I'm guessing, upper arms. And finally, here's the manual. Hopefully there's not too much glare on that. I'll angle it just in case. But this is the version 2.0 manual. Alex, Gundam NT1 it says, some nice artwork. Okay, it is saying that the first step is to, you know, scratch or um, snap build it. And then you put the armor frame on and then the actual outside armor. For the runners... We are using almost all of the parts, which makes sense because this is, these are all new runners. We are not using one of the parts on H2, that's one of the yellow ones. We're not using one of the parts on the second G runner. Not using quite a few parts off of the K runner, which is gray. So let's find the K runner. K is this blue one here. So, yeah, you know what? This is a 2008 runner. So that's why we're not using a lot of those. There's another runner in here that will replace most of those parts. So I think this is the only runner that is not new.
Some of the poly caps we are not using. The polyethylene. I can't believe there are so few poly caps. All right, everything else looks like we are using. Okay, so chest unit, head unit with the broken V fin or the intact V fin. Arm units with the trash bags on the upper arms. There at the shoulders. I was thinking it was down lower at the elbow, but it looks like it's up at the shoulders. Mostly hidden by the shoulder armor. All right, leg, right leg, left leg, waist unit. And our color page. We have some battle artwork, which is always top notch on these new kits. Paint guide for the figurines. Looks like you got Alfred in his green sweater. You got Christina all suited up and Bernard and his leather jacket and jeans. So if you want to paint your kit in official colors, here's your guide. This is what Alex will look like with partial armor. have your weapons, your bazooka, your beam rifle, your sabers, and your shield. Alright, so now we're on to the backpack, beam sabers, and other weapons, such as the beam rifle and the bazooka. Alright, shield and shield gimmick. You can see it in action here, flipped open. All right, the armor inner walls, which is the frame for the outer armor, that aluminum looking plastic like this runner. All right, backpack armor, arm and leg armor, arm armor, arm armor, armor. All right, and then the outer armor, Chobam armor. Leg armor and sticker placement. Lots of stickers. Choose wisely. And there we go, we have the finished product without the exterior armor. Yes. Yes. Very excited to build this. So, it's July 4th. Hope everybody's having a good time. Hopefully the next video will be Alex completed in a snap build. After that, we'll have a fully painted and decaled, hopefully, kit. So thanks, guys. Happy 4th. I'll see you soon.